welcome to your horoscope for the week of May 18th, where I just like this week. I feel like it's nice. It's a new moon week. It's a new moon in the energy of Gemini week, which is social. So we get to be a little bit social as we're finishing out this springtime and getting ready to roll into June and bring in some summer and or winter, depending on which friends of us you are, where you live. But this is a nice week, I feel like. And it is a week of intellectual things and conversation being very much so available to us. So as we jump into this week, we see the sun moving into the energy of Gemini, bringing light, heat, life, and vitality. We've also got Mercury over there. Venus is retrograde in the energy of Gemini. Now we bring in the sun, and then just a couple days later, we're going to bring in a new moon as the birthday gift for our Gemini friends. So happy, happy birthday, Gemini friends. So this is a week where, with the sun here, if you like studying, if you like intellectual pursuits, you love watching that History Channel or whatever it is you like that has a lot of details in your entertainment world, I think this is phenomenal for that. But I also as equally think that it is a good week for negotiations because you are able to discern which information is necessary like what does that fit here is this a good part of this negotiation venus is retrograde so likely in this particular area if you're going back over a contract that needs renegotiating you're going back over a project venus is actually going to kind of be helping you here saying well that doesn't have value let's let that go right so here venus and or the uh, gemini energy is being completely lit up is useful to you because gemini does have good discernment when it comes to details gemini is also completely willing to talk Right? So this is a good week to talk, to do any of the talking that you need to. Short distance trips are very well supported by Gemini energy. And with the new moon happening in Gemini, if you did, we've been in quarantine. You know, if you're like, oh, I just need to go camping. I just need a short distance trip. This new moon will absolutely support that. But at the new moon, we also want to be planting our seeds for design, for development, for manifestation down the road. What are your intentions that you have here? In your Gemini energies, are you connected and networking with the correct people? What is it that you need to study? Have you been busy trying to study a whole bunch of things and it's like, ah, I need to narrow it down? What's the thing you want to study? Do you want to start to teach? Are you trying to develop a lesson plan? Is there something going on with your siblings or your neighbors? Is this your social distancing barbecue we were talking about in the monthly videos? Whatever it is, this new moon is your chance to plant these seeds of intention for a fresh start to this particular area. And for some of you, I do think that this will have to do with writing projects for sure. And if you're freelance, this new moon is yours. So take advantage of it, okay? Now, as we get to the end of the week here, oh, this is nice. Yes, this moon also is supported by a Saturn sun trine. So whatever you're, oh, you guys, that is so good because whatever it is you're actually focusing on at this moon, Saturn sun really brings a delivered, motivated set of focus and grounding to the table. Now, remember, at this point, Saturn is also retrograde. So whatever it is you're doing, you have the strength of going back over, seeing what it already was. So you really have a lot of clarity on what you don't need, what won't work here. So it's focused. And you want this level of focus because what you're trying to develop with a sun-Saturn trine is a long-range something. It has long-range stability to it. So that is a lovely energy. Now, Venus and Mercury are also going to come into a conjunction. They only do this once a year. So they're going to come into a conjunction this week as well. And that is just lovely. That makes lovely communication. That makes brilliant social communication and social interactions as well. I do think if you are involved in something that has to do with... Um, something legal or the courts or something that is a little bit more heated, this brings a harmony to the conversation. It brings a harmony to the table in some way, shape or form and could actually tip the scales um, in your favor if you are in some kind of negotiation or something where there's been a kind of a push pull. Either way, Venus and uh, Mercury coming together is an absolutely lovely energy. It's magnetic voice. They're both in the energy of Gemini. Great social connections are available to you this week. And if you've planted your seeds of intention at the new moon for new connections, new information, new learning, new messages, 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 this will be an energy that helps you magnetize that to you as well. So, 
With a busy week like we had one last week, this looks nothing like that, but I still think there are some beautiful shifts and beautiful energy available for you. Take a look at the end of the video to see who's coming to join the Cyber House this week. We've got more learning, more opportunities to eat and greet together. And when we have an eat and greet, you guys, I hope you're bringing your snack. We bring ours. I hope you bring yours so we can just chill and sit down and talk astrology together, but just eat and greet with each other. All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you a ton, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye, everyone.